Oh, um, real quick, there are quite a few people that have done the survey. Yeah, there you go. And, and then there's quite a few people who have not. So, a little reminder about that. Okay. Survey of all of history. No, just a survey. Go to the website. Map 88. Survey. Bam. Bam. All right, so I got a decent number of people that have done it. Just, just please do that for me. It helps me out a lot. Just to know where people are coming from. So for example, a few people said... And I'm not naming names because I don't remember, but if people said they want to take 103 or 110 next, you, you can't. 90 is next. 90 is a prerequisite to 103, 110. So it's 88 and then 90 and then 103 or 110. They kind of go down two different paths. Or you could take, I don't know if you guys know about Math 298. I'm teaching Math 298. This is slightly more direct route to statistics or uh, Math 120, which is our other transfer level math course. So you only take that if you're absolutely certain you're not taking a math a, a major that requires more math beyond statistics. So it is another option. So we'll talk more about that when we get closer to time to register for next semester. What's happening next door? I don't know. Something. She's... All right. We'll try to ignore that. I'll try to ignore that. Any questions about that? Survey, get that done, right? Uh, okay. Uh, let me think. Did I put anything else up here? No. I like it. Okay. Okay. So there's no questions on homework. We're going to get right back into where we left off. Okay. God, that is going to drive me crazy. I'll be all right. So, last time we were doing things like uh, looking at variables and, and plugging values in for them, right? I think that's about where we left off. We hadn't quite gone into full like terms yet. If I remember correctly, All right, we're sort of in section 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, cool. Okay. So today we're going to get into talking more about like terms and talking about starting to solve basic equations. Um, just to remind you guys, one of the hardest things about teaching this class is there are so many different backgrounds of mathematics. Some of you guys just came out, you did, you just had a bad day when you took the assessment test, and some of you guys haven't had math in 20 years maybe. So if I'm talking about something that you really, really, really know, just keep quiet and enjoy the fact that you understand it so far, right? So I'm going to try to help the people out that have trouble with just the idea of solving an equation, uh, for example. Uh, but just to kind of go back and look at something we did last time. Um, so like this year. They are very emphatic over there. I like that one. That one's got a mean power. Oh, give them a second. I'll come to you here in a minute. You can see that okay? Okay. You guys try to work this out. See what you get. And then you may have got to work it out here in a second. Okay, good. Yeah, I Big, okay. I'll try to remember. I had a teacher that would write like this. He would talk to the board. Actually, that's what happens. It's like, can you let us join that class? He was a Russian guy too, and it was difficult to understand. 
I don't know, it's just the way he was. And it was like he's talking about a secret. And he didn't want to let us know. <laughs> Was that? Oh, it's easier to see. Yeah, I agree. So I don't know why I was keeping it to himself. Oh yeah, good. So I'm just shouting at the door. All right, guys. So help me out. How do I start this problem off? What do I do? Yeah, so how do I rewrite this with the new information that I know? Two parentheses, Two parentheses I love it. Square, okay, good. So I just took the X and replaced, why do I put parentheses? <laughs> to make sure that I remember it's multiplied, right? If I did like this, it would look like what? No, it's minus. I know, it would look like it's subtraction. Where the hell subtraction come from? I love it. So what, how about over here? Minus three. Kick ass, I like it. Do you have to do it like that? Not necessarily, but I mean, that's the way to be careful about it. So you preserve all the operations. Uh, so what do I do first now? What are operations? Exponents, so what's negative three squared? Now, why do you think this person is thinking? Is that correct? No. No. But do you see what they're thinking? Yeah. Negative 3 squared is positive 9, but now you made multiplication become addition, right? Which is like water to wine stuff. So multiplication better stay multiplication. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, exactly. So over here, what do I do? How do I do this? What's negative 3 times negative 3? Plus 9 times 2? 18. So I got plus 18. Right, negative negative is plus, and that is subtraction. Subtraction can become addition if you're subtracting a negative. That's fine. That's what subtraction means, adding a negative. So if I'm subtracting a negative, that's addition. All right, cool. It's just multiplication can't suddenly become addition. That's, that's neat. Well, too neat. And now, what do I get? 18 plus 18, 36. I like it. I wish you could take credit for those coming out to be the same number, but I didn't think that for a hit. It just happened. All right, sweet. So that's a combination of understanding uh, substitution and order operations. So I'm hoping that that is pretty good. Okay, good. So that's sort of like where we left off last time. I think we talked about, didn't I show you why distributive property works? Yes, you did. Thank you. Cool. All right. So we're right where I want to be. I want to get into like terms. I got a little handout that I'm going to give out here in a bit. But first, let me get your impression of what like terms are. Can somebody tell me what like terms are? All right. The same. But how do you mean the same? Like they have to be, if one's 5y, the other one has to be 5y? Yep. No, just y. Okay, good. So it's not the same coefficient. So like if I wrote 5y, what would you put here and there would be like terms, for example? 6y. 6y. Now give me something else with a variable that's not like terms with those. 3x. 3x. Kick ass. Or 3m, or 4 happy face, or 5 shoe. 5. 3x, I like it. So when you see something like this and it says simplify, you first find what you like terms. So like terms are... First off, what the hell are terms? Start there. How many terms are there? Beautiful, because terms are separated by what? Plus or minus. I love it. So that's why there's one, two, three terms. Terms are connected by multiplication and separated by plus or minus. How we go so far? I like it. So that's what terms are. So like terms are those pieces that you can actually consolidate. If I have five y's and I put six more y's, then obviously I got 11 freaking y's. But when I add those to 3x, no. what the, now what did this person do wrong? This is where you should stop. Dear God, right? Well, what's this person thinking here? 
that goes that one extra step, what would you say to them to explain why this is wrong quickly? Like, okay, it's not like terms, but they apparently don't understand like terms. So what I would say is, I don't see any XYs, and you got 14 of them. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So I see Y's and Y. I see 11 Y's and I see 3 X's. I don't see any X, Y's. How did you get 14 of them? And then they go, well, oh, screw this shit. No, no, no. Right? So that's gone too far. So what, can somebody give me a problem where the answer would be 14 X, Y? What would be right before that? For example. I like this problem. Let me start us off. Like, 2xy plus 12xy. That's an example of a problem that would have that as an answer because I do see a total of 14xy's. I see 2xy's there, 12xy's there, total of 14xy's. Well, of course. Right now we're talking about terms which are separated by plus minus, but I mean, I could say like 7x times 2y. What's that? 14xy, I love it. I like it, I like it. And do you see how multiplication is not as restrictive as addition? Let me say that one more time. Multiplication, can I multiply those? Yeah, I just did. Sort of, I put them all together, right? But can I, can I put those together? No. Stay with me now. This is interesting. I'm going to connect this to fractions. Now watch, stay with me. The minute I say that, I lose people. Yeah. Why can I put those together? Because they're like terms. I have three of these plus one of these is four of those. Okay. Could, could you add exactly. So, but if I had three tenths plus one fifth, that's not like terms. It's like three x plus one y. So, wait. Can, can you find the common? Exactly. Cool. That's in our future. But I just want to talk about them like like terms. But, but watch, so this I could do, what's that of course? Four, three of these plus one of these is four of these. This I can't do shit with. Well I can, but not directly. Like you said, we're gonna make an LCD. But, but what about, what's three tenths times one fifth? What, what, what is it? Three over 50. So I really want you to see multiplication is not as restrictive on what it needs to be able to be done as addition. Addition is like, holy crap, they got to be the same. they got to be like terms. And if they're not, I have to wait, have a way to make them like terms. If they're letters, I ain't got no way to make X become Y. Don't say, well, yeah, I can do it. No, stop. Not legally. All right, cool. I like it. Because I don't think it's taught enough that that's all fractions, this idea of fractions is, is like terms. Three of these, one of those. Uh, three of these, one of these. Three of these plus one of those. I can't do that. I need a way around it. That's why LCD comes into play. All right, cool. I like it. Okay, it might have gone a little too far for some of you. All right. What's up? I blew your mind. Okay. Oh, no, you're kidding. Don't kid me like that. Somebody else has got a legitimate whoa. All right. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what about this here? Try this. Don't say anything out loud. That's a Roman number one. Yes. I use little Roman numerals, like an outline. Remember outlines in English? You use cat, uh, Roman one, Roman two. No. Screw it. So this will be two there, right? Uh, sorry. This is not it. By the way, so the instructions are simplify. Not doing equations yet. This is just simplify. We're not solving. We can't solve for the letters, but we can put them together. So 
Angeles is the same thing with the light terms. We're just taking it one step up. You good? Is the BA? Can you look? Well, I did. So, in this first one, you might think there's no light terms. There are light terms. Because, tell me real quick. If I said what's seven times four, and you did four times seven, will you get the wrong answer? No, because seven times four is four times seven. What's A times B? B times A. They're the same thing. So these are like terms. Just some idiot, you know, me, wrote them out of alphabetical. Normally, write them in alphabetical order, right? Because it doesn't matter. Multiplication doesn't care what order you do it in. Is that cool? So this is really five AB. So, oh my goodness. Can you guys hear that? I can hear it really well. It's really driving me crazy. Sorry about that. Alright, so how many AVs do I end up with? Nine. Yeah, so I have four of them there. Five more, so I got nine of these. Now, can I do anything with these? No. Nope. Minus two of me. Plus, you just collect them. And they just sit there, poor little dudes. They have nobody to go with. Not really, not yet. That's fine. I mean, we get the polynomials, we're talking about descending order and all that kind of stuff, but you know, you could it doesn't really matter which order you put them in, to be honest. Yeah. What about here? I want to throw in some exponents just to see if it freaks you out. How many like terms? Are there any like terms here? Yes. How many? Uh oh. It's only two like terms. I see two terms that have M in them. I see one term that has an N in it. I see one term that has an M squared in it. So if you did like that and got 6M squared, just forget about the negative for a second. 6M cubed, maybe, I'd say the same thing that I said over there. I don't see any M cubes. Where did you get the M cubes from? Do you see what I'm saying? So. Why are A, B, and B, why are they not like terms? Because one of them has an A and a B, and the other one only has a B. Well, this one has an M and another M. This one only has one M. They're not like terms. I can't consolidate them. So what do I get? 11M plus 3N plus 8. If there was another M squared, if there was a 7M squared, I could put that together with that M squared all day. Yeah. Okay. That's an M there, by the way. Poor little thing. All right. Cool. I like it. So let me let me do this. Let me give you guys. This has got two sides to it. Don't do the side with the equations yet. Just do the side. It's got like terms. You and I will work together in a minute. So real quick, I just want to point out, so again, you know, if you get done with the first side, you might want to try the second side, but we'll talk about the equations here in a minute. I gave you a few examples, and again, i got to assume that there's somebody out there that's completely forgotten about all this stuff, so this starts from the very basics. Um, there's some examples about how this stuff works. I even made it color-coded, which is big for me. I know. Um... And at the bottom, I kind of did something with distributive property. So I want to see if you guys can remember what we did and then apply it to this. So go ahead and try those 
six problems out. There's three under the first and three under the second. So try those six problems out. On the side that says like terms, distributive property. Not the one that says solving basic equations. Not that yet. Do you want the, the math on here or is that the piece of paper? I think you should be able to fit it on here, right? If you need another piece of paper, you know, like seven, uh, you try it really big. This year, dude. Oh, I meant to print out a large copy for you. Shoot. Because you can't see that too well, can you? That's probably here. Let me do this.
けるわけですけど。うん。Exactly. You got to bring it through. So it would be two x plus, like you said, six. That would be six. Well, you have to be careful. The three's got to go to the two. That makes six. And it's also got to go. So it'd be minus. Plus three times x. So that's the distributed property. You distribute it to everything inside, right? And then you can. What can you put together? Negative one, kick ass. So negative one x. Exactly. All right. I'm going to do all of them up here. Let me leave you with those both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did I leave that going? That was an exciting. That's exciting. All right.